Hey guys, so uh, I didn't make the video yesterday like I said, but here I am today making it. Um, so right now I'm inside my buddy's garage, which is kind of where I've set up my bike stand and my bike. And um, yeah, just gonna show you guys what the um, the Chris King R45 rear hub looks like after about 5,000 kilometers. Like I said, um, last time I had it off, I did notice a bit of marring. I'll bring it in there. As you can see, it, it's it's pretty kind of chewed up on. Yeah, I guess it's the last five uh, gears. I am using a uh, Shimano Altegra cassette. If you are using like a SRAM Red or a uh, Durace because they have they grab at the back of the cassette so on your your big cog so your 28 or 25 whatever maxes out at and then it grabs again um, at a wider spot or a wider area on uh, your small end um, you wouldn't have as much marring but um, with the Altegra cassette and the Force uh, cassette, which I also have one of those. Um, basically, only five out of your 11 gears um, are basically on a big wide patch of uh, teeth, as you can see there, which makes it a lot easier on the um, body. But all these other rings, they're all right onto the the uh, cassette body and um, that's because they're steel and I guess this is aluminum uh, it's mired it up quite a bit especially if you're a heavy rider and you can put more power through the pedals you definitely mire it up a little bit um, it was pretty hard well not I guess it wasn't pretty hard but it was just a little difficult kind of uncomfortable to, to take off the cassette usually I remember when it was brand new I just could grab a hold of it pop it off put it back on now I can't um, I'm not gonna touch it up with a file or anything because the Chris King hub does have a two-year manufacturing warranty and I think that might void the warranty um, but if you're buying a Chris King hub they're beautiful um, they're nice, they sound great, um, they're nice and smooth, but that's one thing for a downside is the uh, cassette body on the hub is aluminum and it gets marred up pretty easy. So, because I think I even had it, had it off maybe only 100 or 200 kilometers in and I could already know it was starting to get marred. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's, it's great, great body, um, besides that, besides it's aluminum, um, definitely recommend, it is a little pricey, um, but if you are buying them, I would get the ceramic, ceramic's nice, um, you basically never have a problem with it, you don't really have to worry about shattering the, uh, bearings, because, it's not a mountain bike. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing jumps with it. Um, unless you're Peter Sagan or, um, you know, any of those stunt riders like doing the uh, road bike party. Um, but even them, they're fine because they don't know how to land it. Um, something else I want to talk about is I was in, because I do have carbon rims. And I find it so funny because I like technology and kind of new things that come out with the bikes and last few years it's been carbon rims right and it's almost 2017 um and the best pads that you can buy for carbon fiber or yeah carbon fiber rims is cork <laughs> all the research that went into it um, all the money spent, all the time spent, 
um, all these different compounds and whatnot. Cork is <laughs> performance wise one of the better rim break breaking surfaces for carbon fiber. Um, I find that kind of funny. Um, <laughs> a lot of research though has gone into also the the breaking surface and zips got it got it right i think um with kind of like the dimpled or hashed out um breaking surface um that that i think really helps um mavic they also have another rim um but it's a aluminum carbon fiber composite rim and they actually have um, little dashes that go around and you have to use actually a special brake pad because it's basically like taking a file to your brake pads every time you brake but um but yeah i just I, I think it's so funny like i've run the new specialized turbo cottons the ones that tony martin had on his time trial bike i find it's really funny <laughs> like we're we're almost 2017 and some of the best tires are made with cotton instead of Kevlar. Um, <laughs> the brake pads are, are cork. Um, what else? Oh, there's all kinds of funny stuff. Uh, yeah, it's, I just find it funny, you know, all the technology goes in the bikes, you know. Um, <laughs> it's funny, my dad used to race. <laughs> you know, you get, freaking so you you'd think oh, okay back in the 80s well maybe using cork or you know cotton and but we're still using <laughs> that kind of stuff today but um yeah i think that's what i'll leave off today um if anybody watches this uh no one watched my video the other day so i wasn't kind of too sore about not getting it out fast enough but um yeah what are some of the bike technologies that you think are, you know, why are we using something from back in the day that you think, why haven't we come up with something better? I I like the fact that, you know, simple stuff, you know, if it works, it works. But I, I think it's still pretty funny that we're using cork and cotton to this day um, in some of our uh pro level stuff so anyways thanks for watching ciao